tires. <laughs> no hard feeling. When Ice Road Truckers debuted in 2007, it quickly garnered ratings and views for the History Channel. Viewers were more than eager to tune in to witness the dangerous Arctic exploits of the show's drivers. However, while the viewers were having some fun and excitement witnessing these exploits, things were opposite of fun behind the scenes of this reality TV show. Many viewers may not realize that the behind the scenes actions are often just as dangerous as the scenes they watch or worse. In 2009, some crew members were hospitalized when they crashed their truck into a semi during a blizzard, yet that's just the tip of the iceberg. Driver and TV star Hugh Rowland, a key figure on the show, froze his fingertips off while filming an episode, but that's not even enough to justify filing a lawsuit against the show. Join us as we delve into the real reason why Hugh Rowland sued Ice Road Trucker. I've probably been at these roads as long as anybody else has, if any, if any of them are still alive or not. I'm only 48 years old. I'm still pretty young, and I've been doing it for 30 years. <laughs> Ice Road Truckers has a way of always putting viewers on the edge of their seats. The series lasted for 11 seasons, allowing the viewers to live vicariously through the skilled drivers of the show as they attempted to pull their massive semis over frozen lakes and uneven terrain to deliver shipments to remote areas. One of the fab favorites of the show is Hugh Rowland, affectionately known by his family and friend as the Polar Bear. He has been a mainstay on the show since it premiered in 2007. Hugh was in every episode for the show's first eight seasons, and during his time on screen, he grew to be one of the show's most popular drivers and a fan favorite. Born in British Columbia in 1957, Hugh Rowland's life has always been linked to the world of trucking from the very beginning. Unlike most individuals who harbor childhood dreams and aspirations, Hugh didn't initially have visions of becoming a truck driver. It was only when he first took the wheel of a big rig that he 